The Rarest Planets in the Universe We're continually learning new stuff about deep space mysteries. For example, in April 2019, the first photo of a black hole was released, and in February 2021, the Perseverance rover landed on Mars. While these tremendous works of engineering have increased our ability to understand our universe, there's still so much more to discover in space. Fortunately, we do know a little bit about the mysterious wide sky above us, including some interesting facts about our nearest planetary neighbors. If you adore the vastness of our universe, we feel the same way. So without wasting any more time, here are the rarest planets in the universe that you should be aware of. Number 10. Barnard Star Barnard Star is known for the planets it lacks rather than the planets it has. Hear me out. Since the 1960s, astronomers have debated whether the star, which is the fourth nearest to Earth, has planets or not. The answer is no. However, many people believe the answer was a resounding yes for at least 10 years after Peter van de Kamp's official statement in 1963, declaring that Barnard's star had two gas giants surrounding it. Van de Kamp never gave up on his assertions, but in the late 1990s, Hubble observations proved them to be false. Here's the issue. Hubble didn't discount the possibility of planets around Barnard's star. Only large planets at specified distances from the ancient sun were ruled out. It's still possible that a rocky world or perhaps a Neptune-sized ice giant could be present. Future exoplanet surveys may finally put an end to the debate or merely add fuel to the fire. It always feels lonely to be the first at something or to be the smallest or even the odd one out. So imagine being the smallest in the room, the room here being the vast emptiness of space. If planets had feelings, I can't imagine what this guy must be feeling. Number 9. The First PSR B1257 plus 12A For the past 20 years, we've discovered planets around sun-like stars. However, we've known about planets outside our solar system for a while. They merely occurred to be completely different from any solar system we'd imagined. For example, in the vicinity of a supernova remnant. The first discovered exoplanet still holds the distinction for being the smallest. PSR B1257 plus 12A is about the size of the moon and orbits a pulsar in a hostile environment. The tug they gave on their home star led to the discovery of the planets in the system in 1992. Pulsars are considered cosmic timekeepers and are frequently referred to as the universe's most precise clocks. However, something was causing PSR B1257's rhythm to be a little off. It was discovered that the culprits were two planets, one of which was this one. A third was discovered later, and claims to it were made and then retracted. Number 8. The first around a sun-like star, 51 Pegasi b While it wasn't the first planet discovered, 51 Pegasi b was the first confirmed planet orbiting a sun-like star. Even yet, it was unlike any other planet we'd ever seen. Every few days, this massive world completes a quick orbit around its star. It sparked the finding of a slew of hot Jupiters, gas giants with orbits closer to their suns than Mercury is to ours. Another first was the observation of 51 Pegasi b's atmosphere in the visible spectrum in 2015. We can examine factors like the planet's real mass or orbital inclination by looking at the visible light it emits, instead of just gazing at its outline when it passes in front of its home star. This may seem insignificant in comparison to what we know about most of the planets in our solar system, but when you're talking about an exoplanet 50 light years away, every bit of information counts. With a size about as big as Neptune and an orbital period of 2.6 Earth days, this planet is one of the most exotic contradictions that we know of. But that's just the tip of the proverbial iceberg. The inconsistencies don't stop there. Number 7. GJ436b GJ436b is only 2.5 million miles from its star. For comparison, Mercury is 36 million miles from the Sun. It's roughly 822 degrees Fahrenheit, which is more than hot enough to evaporate water. But it's precisely because the water on this planet remains solid that it's so fascinating. GJ436b is, in other words, a planet of burning ice. This isn't the kind of ice you'd find on Earth, but rather a unique type known as Ice 7. 
which forms when ice becomes denser and more crystalline. The enormous gravitational pull at the planet's core, scientists believe, caused this ice to form. The inconsistencies in GJ436b don't stop there. The planet's outer layer of hydrogen and helium gas should produce a lot of methane, but scientists are finding 7,000 times less than what there should be. Instead, there's massive amounts of carbon monoxide, which could be coming from the planet's core, where the temperatures are extremely hot. Number 6. The Rocky Gliese 876d the distance between us and Gliese 876d is only 15 light years. It's small enough to be rocky, but it's a long way from Earth. And don't go just yet, Gliese 876d is a hellscape. It has a day that's somewhat shorter than an Earth day, yet its orbit is only a quarter of Mercury's distance from the Sun. It's scorching hot, scorching hot. However, the planet's discovery in 2005 was significant in demonstrating that there are rocky worlds beyond our solar system. Have you ever wondered what hell would look like? A world of violent extremes and pandemonium? Two hells in one? Okay, I'm getting a bit carried away, but you get the point. Number 5. The Goldilocks Zone, Gliese 581 This guy is old! 1.5 billion years is no mean feat but it's surprisingly not that big, just a little over 1.5 piles of Earth, and it has an orbital period of 20 hours. The reason why the sunrise on this planet looks so intense is because it's 60 times closer to its star than we are to our sun. That is, this planet's star is 360 times larger in the sky. On the day side, this planet can reach 4,700 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to melt and vaporize rock. Condensation during cooler fronts causes pebbles to form and then rocks to rain down. Theoretical models also give the planet boiling oceans and lava. This planet is locked into position with this fire and brimstone half always facing the sun. The other half of the planet is bitter cold and can reach negative 392 degrees Fahrenheit, hence why it's said to be two hells in one. When discovered in 2009, it was thought to be the first rocky, Earth-like exoplanet discovered. However, we now classify it as uninhabitable and place the probability of life on this world as none. It's believed to have formed as a gas giant 100 times the size of Earth. As it migrated closer to its star, it shed gas until only a rocky core was left. Number 4. The Gas Dwarf, Kepler-11f the classification of smaller exoplanets has a flaw. A handful of planets larger than Earth but less than Neptune have been discovered in the emptiness. But we don't have anything like that in our solar system. That makes it difficult imagining what these worlds would be like. When something reaches a certain size, is it more likely to be a solid planet like Earth or Mars? When do they start to resemble ice giants like Uranus and Neptune? With Kepler-11f, a proven mini-Neptune, there's little to no argument. It has a Saturn-like atmosphere with a modest rocky core, based on its density. It gave birth to a new species of gas dwarves that aren't seen in our solar system. You may think strange things happen in the Twilight Zone, and stranger still is this planet. Don't believe us? Imagine a planet made of diamonds. Still skeptical? Strap in. Number 3. Jensen This mysterious planet is around the size of two Earths with a seven-day orbit period. This planet, known as Jensen, is 40 light-years away and is famed for being one-third diamond. This could be due to the planet's mainly carbon atmosphere, which allows the planet's mass to be compressed into diamond by the heat and pressure from both the Sun and its interior. It's currently worth $26.7 non-million dollars. Yes, non-nillion is an actual thing. Jensen is tidally locked, with one side of the planet always facing the sun, and the other in continuous darkness. Water can't exist in a liquid state since it's so close to its star. Instead, it exists in a supercritical state, which is a weird state that exists between a liquid and a gas. There's no way you would survive on Jensen. Whether you're on the insanely hot side of the planet where temperatures reach 4,000 degrees Fahrenheit or in the gloomy twilight zone, the Hubble Space Telescope also identified what appears to be hydrogen cyanide leaking from beneath the planet's surface, resulting in a superheated, deadly fluid.
And with that, it's now time for today's best pick. Today's photo was sent to us by a subscriber. So if you come across a photo online and you want to know more details about it, just send it over to us. We might even feature it in a future video. This strange triple star system is one of the most unusually shaped interstellar configurations that astronomers have seen. Three young stars are entangled in an unusual gravitational dance about 1300 light years away from Earth. At a distance of hundreds of millions of kilometers, two stars orbit each other, while the third star zooms around them. To kind of put this into perspective, Luke Skywalker sees twin suns lowering in the sky as he exits his home on the planet Tatooine at night in Star Wars Episode IV A New Hope. The two suns are misaligned in the sky, with one being lower than the other. The scenery from this planet would be similar to the sunset on this Star Wars fictional planet. This one would orbit three suns, unlike Luke Skywalker's desert home, which bakes in the heat of two. According to new research, this could be the view from a planet circling in the GW Orionis system. Astronomers are particularly interested in protoplanetary disks because they're involved in the birth of new planets. Astronomers predict that debris from these disks can consolidate and form planets for young stars like those in GW Ori. Before we move on, I've got a little challenge for you that'll take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal, you just leave a like on this video, smash that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell, and you will get 25 years of amazing luck. Try it, it really works! And number 1, the one we've seen, 1RXS. 1RXS holds a significant distinction being the first exoplanet to be directly observed. That is, the image that you see here isn't a rendering by an artist or a graph displaying the light dip when the planet passes in front of its star. This is a true representation of the planet. The majority of exoplanets are discovered using indirect approaches, such as radial velocity or transit detection, which looks for very imperceptible dips in light over a star's surface. Finding planets with a telescope would necessitate excellent optics, which just won't be available until the James Webb Space Telescope and massive ground-based operations are operational. With the correct imagers, however, younger, hotter planets can be identified. That's precisely what occurred with 1RXS. It's larger than Jupiter and younger than Jupiter, which is why it was discovered directly in the first place. Only one other orbital object had been directly seen to that point, possibly a brown dwarf, so this was the first time we'd seen a planet in all the years we'd been looking for them. It was first seen in 2008. 